I bought all of the cheapest smartphones on Amazon, ranging anywhere from $20 to $200. What the heck? What the heck? What the heck is wrong with this one? You're lying. We just wasted our money on that one. We're going to start from the cheapest and work our way up. So let's see what we got. OMG. Look at all of these smartphones. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. First up, we have the $20 smartphone. This is a prepaid phone. Pretty much saying that you can pay $20 to text and call as much as you want. Anyways, it was only $20, so let's open it up. I'm so excited. Honestly, it still surprises me that you can buy a literal smartphone for $20. Here it is. Wait. What the heck? Do not tell me we just paid for the front part of the phone. Okay, no, there's a back. So this is the first smartphone. Wow, pretty legit, pretty legit. We have the charger. Okay, okay. Comes a kind of a fancy smancy box. Here is the phone. It feels so cheap, but I mean, come on, $20? Put the battery in and the back cover. Okay, now let's go ahead and check it out. Hey, not too bad. It kind of looks like an iPhone when it's not turned on. That's pretty cool. <gasps> there we have it. It is on, ladies and gentlemen. What the heck? I am so shook. You can get a smartphone for $20. The reason I wanted to do this video was so that way if you don't have a smartphone, I'm showing you guys the cheapest ones on Amazon. So if you need a new phone, we're looking at the best options. This is what the back looks like, and this is the front. Your pretty standard phone. Okay, so we're on the startup screen. I have to say, for $20, the screen actually looks really good. It almost looks like high definition, not gonna lie. Like, it looks so good. Have I been overpaying for iPhone? phones this whole time. I think we may have found a flaw to the system. It is not starting up. Okay, so this is the startup screen of our first smartphone. I have to say the Galaxy is a good look. It is actually so funny looking. Um, I've never seen anything like this. So this is what it looks like when it's turned on. It has all of the apps and the app store, just like a typical Android would. I have to say the responsiveness of it and the screen are like really good. What the heck? So that is the picture quality. Obviously, it's really bad, but it's because, I mean, it was $20. What can you expect? All right, we're about to flip to the phone cam. Ready? And flip to the phone cam. What's up, YouTube? This is our $20 smartphone. Honestly, so worth $20. What the heck? So it keeps saying that there's a problem with the server when I try the YouTube app. So I'm guessing that's probably why it's so cheap. I'm pretty sure it just has bad Wi-Fi connection, but overall, this is not too bad of a phone. For $20, I give it an eight out of 10. The price is great, but also seen how it works and it's not the best. Let's try the next one. The next phone is from the same brand, and this one is $60. So we're definitely moving up. Whoa. Wow, this one is way more fancy. See what see what 40 extra dollars can get you. So this is what the $60 phone looks like. It's got the cameras on the back, three cameras, supposedly. Here is the phone. This one has a fingerprint sensor, three days of battery, and it's the size of an iPhone Max. So for $60, this is gonna be awesome. So this one obviously looks a lot better than the first one because it doesn't have a notch. It's all screen. It's so weird to me how this $60 phone can get rid of the notch, but Apple can't. This is the startup screen of the $60 phone. I have to say this one is actually much nicer. For $40 extra dollars, you get way bigger screen. You get more of a modern look. It's so slow though. Like anytime I do anything, it's like takes three years. It doesn't get very bright. I have to say though, for $60, this is not a bad phone. And this one actually connects to the Wi-Fi. The last one wouldn't connect to the Wi-Fi for some reason, but this one, you can actually have the privilege of watching Sarah Grace. What's the up? speaker's actually really good on this thing. Why is it making random noises? Oh my God. I have to say though, the screen on this thing is actually not bad at all. But you already know what we gotta do. We have to test the camera. I feel like I look extra crusty on this one. And let's hit video mode. This is the video on the $60 smartphone. What do we think? I think this one has to be better than the other one. Uh, what do you guys think? One or two? So pretty much these phones are very similar similar setup, similar Android. The only thing really different about it is the screen size and the fact that you can actually use this one. This one also does have fingerprint touch ID, which is really cool for $60 to have that kind of technology. $60 phone gets a nine out of 10 for me. Works really good. You can download whatever apps you want and the camera is not too bad, but for $60, it's a steal. Getting a little more expensive. This one is $70. Kind of similar to an iPhone. Whoa. Here is our $70 smartphone. 
What the heck is wrong with this one? This one actually looks worse than the $60 one. What the heck? Okay, why do the cameras look like that? They added like <laughs> eight cameras to try and make it look more bougie, I guess. This one is super funky looking, I have to say. But you know what? We're gonna give it the benefit of the doubt. Let's turn it on. So this one actually comes with a case and a screen protector, so kind of a steal in deal. We have the chargers and it comes with headphones. They're wired headphones, of course, but they're still headphones. The only problem we're having is it's not turning on. This smartphone is not turning on because I'm pretty sure it has a battery that I need to put in there, but I can't figure out how to open it. Oh, now I understand why this was $70. Aha, uh -huh, we got it open. Okay, so here is the battery. See, this is why I don't mess with Androids. They just, they're so whack. I'm starting to think that this phone is just broken. It literally will not turn on. All right, well, I'm gonna leave this thing to charge and if it doesn't turn on, then we know that we got a broken iPhone. I was really looking forward to using these nine cameras. I'm so upset. Update guys, I've charged this phone for about an hour and it's literally doing nothing. So we just wasted our money on that one. This one gets a zero out of 10. The next phone I'm so excited for, this one was $80. And it is a gorgeous teal color phone. And it looks very similar to the iPhone 11. So I'm super excited to see if we can get a seal and deal here. This one is the Eulophone. Eulophone Note 6. Whoa, okay, okay, I see you, I see you. Look at all high tech quality out here. This one is face unlock, face ID. Are you kidding me? Pretty fancy, pretty fancy. This one also comes with an iPhone case in it. Let's go ahead and turn it on and see what it looks like. Ah, the Eulophone. This one is hands down the prettiest phone we've unboxed so far. They've all started up the same so far because they're all Android, so that's fun. So this is the screensaver for this iPhone 11 phone. It's pretty nice, but as you can see, very slow. This one comes with all of the basic stuff that all of them have before. Being on these phones, they take forever. Oh my gosh, why is this taking so long? This one actually has portrait mode, so let's go ahead and test that out. Test out the portrait mode. I have to stand still because it's processing. Go ahead and see the portrait mode. Hey, the portrait mode doesn't look too bad. It's not great, but it's not too bad. This one is not too bad, but I personally think the $60 phone has it beat. The screen is bigger, and this one is by far the fastest phone. So for this phone, it's pretty basic. Other than the color, it's really not good. So I'm gonna have to give this one a five out of 10. It wasn't the cheapest, and it's literally garbage. So let's move on. Now it's time for the most expensive yet cheap phone we bought. This one costs $120. And it's time to see if it's a good phone. I have the highest hopes for this one because it was $120. Better be good. <laughs> oh my god. It looks so funny. Oh my god. It looks so it's like trying to be an iPhone 11 so bad, but it's just not working. It's not working at all. That is so funny. This is what the, <laughs> the smartphone looks like. I bought it because it looked super good and it looked exactly like an iPhone. So I thought it would have a good chance of being really good. Of course, it's an Android as well because you're not gonna find an iPhone on Amazon for under $600. But who knows, maybe the quality is gonna be really good. If you guys wanna see me test out all the fake iPhones on Amazon, give this video a big old thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below. This one had a little bit of music, more fancy. I feel like all of these have been the same so far, except this one has an Apple back cover back screen. Wow. I'm telling you, it's trying so hard to be an iPhone right now. You're lying. <gasps> Dude. <laughs> They actually have the Apple icon. Are you kidding me right now? They literally have all of the icons exactly like Apple. The heck, did we just find the best Apple fake ever? Oh my gosh, that's so crazy how they did that. Like the, the calculator, the clock, all of them are the Apple icon. But obviously it's not an iPhone, but they, they're trying hard. They're trying real hard right now. But let's give it a shot. Maybe the camera's good. I mean, there are three of them, so they better be good. All right, time for the photos. This one automatically captures it when you smile. That is so cool. 
Apple does not have that. Let's go ahead and test out the back camera because they have three cameras. Psych. Literally, look, I'm gonna video. So I'm videotaping right now, and as you can see, we're covering one camera, nothing happens. Covering the second camera, nothing happens. Now covering the last camera, and it finally gets covered. Literally, they're just fake cameras to make it look like good quality. But let's go ahead and take it to vlog mode, baby. What's up, Jake Pollers? This is my new vlog camera. Uh, my new iPhone 13, it is a banger, and it was only $100, so steals and deals. To be honest with you, every single one of these cameras look exactly the same, like garbage. No offense if you have this, these cameras, they do take pictures, which is great, but they're nothing compared to the iPhone cameras. Literally, look at the wall, <laughs> look at it. It's so like pixelated and crazy. I really love their attempt to make it look exactly like an iPhone, though, I have to say. I'm gonna give y'all a round of applause because this is so cool. All of these phones, however, are extremely slow. I've been trying to get something to work on this phone for about 20 minutes already. I can't get an app, I can't open YouTube, like what the heck? It's so buggy, for what? So I wanna test out this phone, so I'm gonna go ahead and download a couple apps, like Instagram, which you guys should go follow me on. Like, look, I'm like literally scrolling and nothing's happening. Oh my gosh. And this is why I don't use Android. This stupid phone has been going off the whole entire video. Let's go ahead and download Candy Crush. So we got Instagram on my new iPhone. See, literally, what is taking it so long? Like, it's literally just Instagram. Why is it having to go through, like, thank you, finally. Okay, let's do this. After much work, we finally got into Instagram. And I have to say, this thing is slower than my grandma. It does work, however, it just doesn't work well at all. I appreciate its attempt to look like an iPhone, but to lay it down plainly, this thing sucks. This is honestly probably the worst one out of all of them. And this was the most expensive. Out of all of the cheap smartphones that we unboxed today, ranging anywhere from $20 to to $120, I have to say the Motorola $60 phone was the best. It's actually super fast and it actually does what I want it to do. And it's crazy because this one was only $60, which shows that there are some good cheap phones out there. And because I've, can, what was that for? If you guys use one of these phones, I wanna give you guys an iPhone. So I'm going to be doing an iPhone giveaway. All I want you to do to enter is go to my Instagrams and DM me a picture of your phone and I will be picking someone to give a brand new iPhone to. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a big old thumbs up. Make sure to comment down below which phone was your favorite. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.